gone and done it, haven't I? Cut the hole in my ceiling in my garage so I can overhead the press. Don't tell the missus. Monday evening, it's week two of my training session. I've snuck back out to my garage because I've decided enough's enough. I'm not over pressed, overhead pressed for about two weeks. I've told the missus that I've gone to organize my gym a bit, but what I'm actually gonna do is make a hole in my ceiling so I can overhead press. Yeah. If you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe and tick the notification bell. Uh, I'm really having fun making them and uh, I'm also experimenting with different sort of slow-mo captions and bits and pieces. Um, as you can see, I'm learning as we go along and uh, I hope you're having fun as much as I am. Cheers guys. I'm not going to bore you with the seven or eight minute footage that I have of me actually cutting uh, the hole in the ceiling, so uh, don't worry about that. I just thought it would be funny just to edit and, uh, and chuck in some um, footage of myself creating a big old mess and a hole in my ceiling. Um, which, uh, as you can tell by now, my missus obviously found out when uh, I finished and walked in covered in dust. And she asked me a million and one questions, and I had to cave, unfortunately. But, uh, hey-ho, <laughs> it was fun to do, and uh, at least it now, I can add overhead press into my program. So, there's not much that she can do about it, so let's crack on. From a safety point of view, I did know where all the joists and the crossings were with the high beams to make sure that the ceiling didn't fall down on my head uh, as I helped actually put the plasterboard up in the first place. So I didn't have any worries or queries in regards to, uh, you know, cutting into any beams or anything like that. So uh, don't worry about that. It's, uh, it was all sorted. Oh. Right, first of all, I'm gonna try with 40 kilo on the normal seven foot uh, Olympic bar. test the axle bar now. This is one I was a little bit worried about because it is, I'd say about half a foot wider as well and the actual uh, steel collars that hold the weights are slightly wider than the normal Olympic bar but we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching this short video. It was just a bit of fun to make and uh, I'm just very happy that I can now incorporate some overhead pressing with the axle press and overhead press into the program that I'm going to be running each week. If you've got any issues or queries with it, please let me know and put a comment in the, uh, in the comments box. I will get back to you, but uh, I'm going to enjoy bringing you a free program week on week and obviously showing you little clips of me progression as we go along. So guys, thank you very much for watching. It is much appreciated and I'll definitely see you in the next video. Take care. I've only got to cut a hole in my ceiling in my garage. Don't tell the missus.